What's up, peeps? Um, this is PBJ Plays, and I'm doing a video that's kind of not like myself. Uh, usually, I do like just videos of me playing with my friends, you know, very uh, <laughs> not very high effort kind of videos. I just uh, just kind of just want to document, hang out with my friends, you know, so they could just re watch the videos and, uh, you know. But uh, that's kind of besides the point for this video. Um, I'm going to kind of title it my unpopular Halo Infinite opinion because, uh, you know, over the past few weeks, I've seen a lot of just not unfounded criticism, uh, very valid criticism, but just nonetheless kind of harsh criticism um, going 343's way. Um, you know, I don't feel like I need to qualify myself in saying this, uh, but, you know, obviously I'm a pretty big Halo fan. Um, I have a long history with Halo. I kind of grew up with it, and I absolutely love the game. Like I imagine, a lot of uh, other people who have these kind of concerns are. You know, you only care. Be you only you're pre you're pretty much angry because you care. You know, and uh, I totally understand. And uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, <laughs> I'm overlaying this audio over um, HDS because uh, I'm just too lazy to go all out and record my own video and voice overlay and these guys are obviously a lot better players than i am so <laughs> hopefully it's a bit more exciting um but yeah now that i kind of got all that um set up out of the way like i was saying like infinite's in a pretty rough state you know i mean it's supposed to be a free-to-play live service game but you know not a whole lot of live service uh you know not a whole lot of games no new guns just the lack of content, you know, we've all heard these things a million times, you know, the desync, um, and just the game just overall generally in a pretty rough state, and I don't, I think it's safe to say that nobody's happy, you know, um, especially, you know, the player base, of course, but, you know, I, I imagine 343 is, as a developer team as well, and, uh, you know, unfortunately, I just, I just feel like this kind of just what gaming is like now. And uh, at a certain point, I mean, if this is how, you know, if this is how games are going to be released, then there's no, <laughs> there's really no great way to stop it from happening. And it seems like the only option to, is to accept the way that this is how games are, then you kind of just kind of have to, you know, <laughs> trust me, I mean. I'm not very, I don't know, this is going to sound very, this video is going to sound very apologetic. But what I'm just saying is, like, don't stress yourself out too much with, you know, trying to pressure 343 into, you know, dev or delivering like a complete game <laughs> anytime soon. I mean, we all just kind of have to come to terms with reality at a certain point, you know. Um... And I think it's safe to say that, you know, we all want, like, Halo to succeed, but, um, I just don't think being toxic is helping. I mean, people have said it plenty of times before, you know, constructive criticism, constructive criticism, and, you know, it doesn't, it seems, what I've noticed, no matter what 343 says or does, it's always, or at the very least, it's very, very often hit with some wave of criticism, you know, like, Oh, we've been begging for a roadmap, and we're, you know, a lot of fans saying, all you want is a roadmap, all you want is a roadmap, and then finally, after months, we get the roadmap, and like, oh, you're just gonna delay it again, you're not even gonna meet the roadmap, I mean, we got what we wanted, we were asking for very little granted, you know, but we still, <laughs> as a community, just had a lot to say, and, like I said, this video is gonna sound very apologetic, but, I mean, just don't set your expectations too high, you know, I mean, just, uh, just take things as it goes, you know, I mean, I've kind of, I'm a big Star Wars fan as well, and the reason why I bring this up is because if you, I don't know if you ever heard this saying, but people often say, you know, no one hates Star Wars more than Star Wars fan, fans hate Star Wars, and it seems as though, like, the Halo community is starting to develop that kind of attitude you know i mean no matter what someone's unhappy you know no matter what some people may enjoy i mean, personally i don't know sorry i'm just going off a little bit of tangent but i mean just don't 
I just don't want the Halo community to be, community to become that where no matter what, I mean, Halo just gonna get hit with this wave of criticism. You know, once the game is finally, you know, <laughs> up to the community standards, you know, two maybe three years from now, people are still gonna drag its name through the mud, like, oh, three four three should have done this and should have done that. I mean, listen, I get it, but I mean. At a certain point, we need to be, we need to allow ourselves to be happy, you know, because I, what favor are we doing ourselves if we just constantly hate on the game that we're, that we supposedly love, you know, at that point, it just seems like, do you actually love the game or you just love to hate the game, <laughs> you know, and I, I just like to believe that the community isn't the latter, you know. Um, and I think it's safe to say that 343 doesn't want Halo to be like this, you know, I mean, when you make a product that you're going to share with the world, I don't think the main goal is to just, hey, let me walk this back a little bit. I feel like video games are kind of art, you know, and artists, I feel like generally, you know, they make art because they they enjoy it, you know, it's just like a labor of love and, you know, if you make this kind of art and it becomes successful enough, you start bringing in some money and, you know, in this case, uh, you know, stockholders and whatnot, people, people who are calling the shots, there's a very clear disconnect with the art, you know, and I can only imagine just being a 343 developer, just being someone like helping make the game and just seeing all this criticism on this game that you poured your heart and soul into and I just can't catch a break you know and I just feel like not like this conversation hasn't been explored in other videos by way more prominent YouTubers but you know just uh just be a little bit more kind you know just be considerate for their behalf um because at the end of the day we're we're kind of more angry with like the uh the management you know and i think management gets it <laughs> you know we've, we've kind of expressed our concerns so let's you know just be a little bit more patient and be a little bit more constructive you know um and i think i just want to say this too i like i said i i know a lot of youtubers um kind of tend to and i don't i don't want to like drag anybody through the mud of course but i a lot of YouTube, you're going to get a lot of negativity from bigger YouTubers because, I mean, obviously, like, that's their job to talk about Halo content, you know? Um, like, if if it's their job to talk about content, but there's no content, then, like, they're, like, kind of in a bind, you know? So, I mean, I don't, I don't mean to sound insulting by any means. Like, I genuinely understand your position, but, I mean, they're gonna kind of just inflate the issues you know these you know these claims oh halo's dead and this and that just it's a live service game it's not dead i mean how do you i don't know that's like a whole argument that i don't personally understand but what i'm trying to say is like the casual fan myself included yeah like it kind of sucks that you know the game's a little bare bones but i mean I just want to speak with the voice of a casual fan in saying that like you know I love the game I love the gameplay and you know I'm willing to wait it out you know I'll play other games in the meantime and you know um just like the average fan isn't as upset as like the average career Halo YouTuber makes it sound you know I mean Yes, we're disappointed. We're all disappointed, but I mean, <laughs> I just don't want anybody at the end of the day to feel bad, you know. And I guess more specifically, the like the people, the game developers, to feel bad, you know. And I'm starting, I'm starting, to, I'm starting to ramble a little bit. Point I'm trying to make is like three, four, three. Just keep doing what you're doing, you know. I mean, yes, as a whole, we're a little disappointed, but I mean. We're all coming from a good place, you know, and Halo fans are going to be there, you know, <laughs> we're a patient, 
we're, we're, we tend to complain, you know, but we're a patient community. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, if there are any other casual Halo fans that feel the same way, you know, just want you guys to feel like you're heard as well. Um, but, yeah, I mean, a little bit, of, this is kind of a rambly video. But, you know, if anybody feels the same or anyone wants to, you know, uh, voice their concerns in the comments or whatnot, you know, uh, feel free. I'm sure I'm missing some points and whatnot, but anyway, I'm going to let this rambling video end. Uh, I'm excited to watch the rest of the HCS play out this weekend. Um, uh, personally, rooting for Team Optic, you know, so if you know, you'll watch this video, uh, just comment what team you want to win. Um, I'm I'm not like a Stark fan fan for anybody really i just i just like to i just love to watch you know so um yeah if you watch if you set this whole video thanks uh yeah i'm gonna call it thanks